this video, we're going to demonstrate publishing to the CAD NSDI from the parcel fabric. What we're viewing on the screen is the two copied or exported townships from the larger Wyoming uh, parcel fabric database. We're going to utilize these, as stated in the last video, for our publishing. So the first thing we're going to do is come over here to Catalog. This is where our export uh, geo database is. We need to create a new or import file geo database. I mean, create a new file geo database. Geo database. I'm going to name it Publish. And then once we have the new geo database, we need to right click on it. We need to import our schema or our XML workspace document. <clears throat> you can leave these defaults set as they are. We need to drive to where your schema or XML document is I'm using the standard PLSS CAD NSDI version 2 publication schema. I open it. I click Next. As we saw in previous times, there's no nothing displayed in red, no conflicts, so everything it should be fine. We finish, and we should have <coughs> our schema loaded now. So when we open it now in our cadastral reference, we have all our layers. So now we need to actually publish. So we're going to open our toolbox. I already have the toolbox loaded for parcel publication, parcel publishing, script. I'm going to double click on it. The first thing we want to do is go to our publish geo database where we're publishing to the feature data set containing the published or will contain, I think it should say will contain the published CAD NSDI. It is this one here. Cadastral reference is what we want. If you double click on it, it loads it. So now we need where are we publishing from? What's the parcel fabric that we're publishing from? We're publishing from the export geo database, the Wyoming parcel fabric. Now the Wyoming parcel fabric displayed here is the parent parcel fabric. The export is what is displayed on the screen, our reduced or copied parcel fabric. So we click on it. We want to export parcels. Click Add. Now we want our points for our parcel point layer. Add. We say OK. And it starts the publishing process. Got through our PLS intersected, our points, our meandered water, our first divisions, second divisions, our special surveys, and our townships. Okay, it completed the script. It completed the script. Succeeded on this date with an elapsed time of 42, a little over 42 seconds. So I say close, and we should have it published. One way we can check this is I'm going to get out of ArcMap and open Arc Catalog. Okay, we are in Arc Catalog now, and the only reason I'm demonstrating this is just to demonstrate how you can review your data before trying to open it with an MXD or creating a new MXD. So if, when you open an ARC catalog, we come to our publish uh, geo database, cadastral reference, and we have our layers. <clears throat> we can click on township, then come up to this middle tab preview, and it shows us that we have our townships. 
our special surveys, second divisions, points, the intersected, first division, and our meandered water, which in the, the parcel fabric for Wyoming, meandered water is uh, loaded twice. Uh, that's why it's showing up twice as meandered water and as special surveys. So all we were looking at here is demonstrating how you can review it before you try to open it. In the next videos, I will uh, provide demonstration on utilizing an existing MXD or importing layer files in a new MXD. Until then.